Oops, I can't hear anything. Somebody say something. Talking. There you go. All right, we're all together. We're having fun. So welcome to the mod three overview. Um, this one's a little bit looser than mod one and mod two were. Both put this like actual presentation and like the mod itself. So this is like probably my favorite mod in the whole program. Um, and if mod two is all about like a uh, mile wide, inch deep, like we're just filling out some depth in the things that we just did. There's very little that's totally conceptually new that we're doing here. We're trying to like understand some stuff a little bit better. So let's take a look at the standards. Oops. Um, some of these I'm taking out. Um, I've been saying this for like months now, and they're still in there. Um, you don't have to do serializers. And let's see. It's really the only thing that like we probably won't talk about unless you specifically ask for it. This uh, strong prams model validations. This is um about with our api endpoints making sure that somebody is sending us correct data um that they're not maliciously trying to fuck with the database that they're not accidentally trying to send us the wrong thing uh we want to give them some kind of heads up that like oh shit uh you're trying to add a new that tree requires species and we don't have species on there so i'm gonna give you an error and reject this. So this is not a hard one. Uh, I would like everyone to be through this one like today so we can just move on with our lives. Um, serializers, don't worry about it. Um, that's like some extra stuff if you wanna go an extra mile, but if nobody comes out of this mod able to use serializers, I'm not gonna lose a minute of sleep. Next thing, events. This is where we start getting, uh, like, this is where the depth really starts coming in, is events and fetch. We're really trying to understand how this DOM model works. So we know that the DOM is this tree representation of the things that we wrote in HTML. So events are how those nodes in the tree talk to each other. And like, of all of the stuff that we do in mod three, getting really getting your head around events, that's that's probably the heaviest one. Fetch, we've already done lots of fetching, uh, but the only kinds of fetching that we've done so far are get requests. So we can do any kind of request. We can also add stuff, we can update stuff. And so this is gonna end up taking the place of how we're using form actions and form methods like you probably won't do too much of that in your career. I tried to minimize the like service area of mod two stuff that like you don't really have to do that much in real life. This is one of them. Um, so you'll do all your form submissions and stuff with events and fetch instead. Common programming topics. This is a real doozy of a one. So if I Look at this. The assessment that I have here is a collection of very interview style, big picture theory questions. Um, it's not necessarily computer science stuff, but it's stuff that you probably instinctively know. And the challenge is once you start wrestling it into words, you find out how like shaky your understanding of that actually is. So for example, I mean, in mod three, I would expect that like you're pretty good on the difference between an object and an array until you start trying to put that into words though, because I'll bet you start using words to, to define themselves and like trip over yourself a little bit. So one of the things we're trying to do in mod three is uncover, surface that stuff so that we can make it so that you can give really good explanations of 
what all of these things are. Um, the state and behavior and functional programming one, we'll spend very little time on that. They're interesting and really will want to get you kicked off on the idea of um, what a programming paradigm is. Because everything we've done so far is just writing some code. We're not really writing any paradigms. But there's specific philosophies around how code is organized. And this is kind of your introduction to those. And then lastly, we'll close out the mod with auth. Um, being able to verify that somebody is who they say they are in an app. And that's kind of the shape of mod two. Um, the code challenge, the code challenge is like very similar to the one that you just did. Uh, I'm not too terribly worried about it. Well, um, but yeah, you have, you make some stuff show up on a page, you fetch something, you have to do the other fetch requests also. Um, that's kind of it. Uh, you got through the mod two code challenge. I'm not too terribly worried about your performance on the mod three code challenge. Like that doesn't mean you'll be an instant pass on the first day, but um, overall, it's not a thing I've seen a, a pattern of a lot of people just not getting it in, a, in the mod three code challenge. So don't worry too much about it. And that's mod three. Ask me some questions. Uh, what should we focus on this week? So you said today we should kind of focus on the params and validations. Yep. Uh, we can do like a lesson tomorrow to sort of nail that one down, but I'd really love it if we don't spend a whole lot of time talking about uh, this. If by the end of the week, you're pretty solid with events and fetch, that's not a bad target. Somewhere kind of in there. And then next week, uh, the auth thing takes three days. It doesn't have to be the only thing we do for three days, but it takes three days. Um, and like, so all of this is super theory heavy. I'd like to spend next week getting mostly theory stuff down. So this is a little bit of theory and like a lot of practice. Um, this stuff is pretty much all theory, a little bit of practice. Is there a particular good way for discuss common programming topics to really know if the way we're articulating it is good? Yes. So I'm glad you asked. So if you go through the readme on this, um, there is a like a, a procedure that I'd recommend that you do. Uh, and then if you want to check your answers, I gave you mine. That's how I answered those questions. What else? Um, do we cover any type of uh, unit testing for JavaScript um, at all in this curriculum or is that kind of no. Um, now okay. that said, like, I'm a testing junkie, and so we can talk about it, but that's not like a program outcome for Flatiron. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, anybody who wants to rock out on testing, we can go all day, baby. Is there any sort of, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, there's a reason for that, too. Um, there are... As far as I know, Turing is like the only school that really uh, has testing as like a, a really baked in part of their curriculum. And it doesn't fucking work. Like people come out of there like not really being able to write particularly good tests. And uh, I think that the reason is that testing is all about prediction. Like if I do this, I predict the following will happen. It's a very difficult thing to do if you just haven't written that much code. Uh, once you've written a lot of code, it becomes like 
a really valuable intellectual exercise to predict the outcome of something, but it's kind of higher up on Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, and so if like your testing life sort of starts after the program, that feels timing wise about right for me. Um, I, I think testing is like one of the most critical parts of engineering but it's, it's kind of wasted time unless you like have written a little bit of software first, IMO. I'm like, I'm really hoping that someday I get convinced otherwise, but otherwise like then we can talk about Cypress testing and unit testing, but no one is gonna be a good tester uh, by the end of this program. That's just kind of how it works. Okay, yeah, I just brought that up because um, I was just going through some like um, just practice um, coding questions and <clears throat> they were mentioning about um, you know testing the APIs with your own unit tests and I just kind of encountered that a lot yep I'm like I wasn't really sure about how to go from that route but I just wanted to kind of bring that up no and like it's it's like a mandatory like part of good software but fucking 15 week program man we just don't have enough time And we could spend a quarter of the program probably talking about testing. And I don't think anybody would actually be any better at it by the end of the program. So kind of a bummer. Could we uh, do like a TDD, like, you know, for some of the lessons? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, go ahead and, uh, and ask for it. Uh, I'm a TDD junkie, so happy to share uh, what I know, but if it seems really like opaque and inaccessible, and, like it's a strange style of reasoning, it's because it is. What else? Are we gonna get any lessons on kind of like deploying our web apps um, or is that gonna be more fun? That's, that's another thing that's just not in the curriculum and they didn't really allocate any time for it. Now that said, I think we have a pretty decent selection of videos on it. Let me see. And we can certainly help you figure that out, but it's another one of those like 15 fucking weeks, man. Um, and this one, I like you are all perfectly fucking capable of doing it. It irritates me a little bit that they really didn't give us uh, enough time to do this. Because it's not hard, it just takes, it takes more than a day, I think, to get comfortable with it. Uh, all right, so we've got custom names, static and dynamic hosting. Yeah, so we got a handful of videos here. Uh, and that's also a thing that we're, Happy to do lessons if you ask for them, but it doesn't show up on any code challenge or anything like that. Would this be the mod to ask for it or yeah. next one? Oh, totally, totally appropriate. Okay. What else? How do we have resources for using images and databases? A lot of images and databases. Um, yes, this one right here, don't do it. <laughs> okay. uh, in general, like uh, don't store binary files in databases, upload them to something like Amazon S3 and then store the URL for it. Okay. Um, and if you want to know how to upload something to Amazon S3, a handsome genius made a site called web app kitchen sink that was going to have examples of all these things that students ask for and I only got around to four of them but uh, uploading files with S3 was one of them and I'll walk you through all the steps for that. Sweet I'll take a look at that thank you. Absolutely what else? I saw in the learn co like mod 3 curriculum there's a lot of JavaScript lessons, like object yeah, you get them. kind of thing. Um, how, how much time or how useful would our time be spent on that, like around the Firebase kind of standards? Um, I mean, you already did most of that stuff. Did we? Okay. Yeah, like your mod two was 90% of normal mod three. 
Um, so you're through a lot of that stuff. Now, that said, um, one of the easiest ways to really struggle with React is to not be that good at JavaScript. Uh, because React's big selling point is that nobody has to learn anything. We just use the JavaScript you already know. Uh, but if you don't know the JavaScript, boy, is that a hurdle. So this is a great three weeks to really tighten up your JavaScript chops. But yeah, you've already done a lot of that stuff. OK. Thanks. With that in mind, and this being kind of the sequel to Mod 2, mm -hmm. um, not that there's not enough on the plate, but is there any kind of supplementary technology we should learn or, or any kind of little bonus stuff that maybe if we start flirting with it now, it would yeah. be pulled down the road? Um, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about React, which is what I think a lot of people do. They like really just try to get ahead on that. That's probably not a great use of anyone's time. Um, but a lot of people have had fun playing with Express and Node. Uh, we have tons of materials on the, uh, on the on the videos page for that. Um, that one's good. And if anything like pops up in Courage time, like there's a lot of breathing room in this mod. And so that th this is a good one. If like you come across a technology that's just singing your heart song, it's a good time to start playing with it. Uh, one more thing that I'll tell you about mod three is that this is a, so in the gradual release of responsibility in this program, we're like with the uh, new kids today, we're like, all right, show up here at two. All right, now show up at 3.30 to this thing and now say this thing. Um, and then the capstone overview I just did is like, all right, here's the rules, bye. Um, we're about halfway there now. So, it's really easy for mod three to like feel listless or like you don't have direction, but really that's just you taking more and more ownership of this process. The safety net is still right there under you. Tech question still works. Uh, we still do lessons, but it's really easy to like uh, feel like you're losing your mooring, but that's just because you're starting to fly. What else? Going once, going twice. Cool. Knockout strong params and model validations. They are not too terribly difficult. We've got lots of videos on them. Um, let's get to get to events ASAP. Cheers. Bon suerte.